everybody. Welcome back to our channel. I am Melinda and that is Tracy. <laughs> um, Tracy's in the background per usual. I'm working. When I'm in the living room, Tracy's usually here, but she is working. I don't work today. Um, and I want to get the rest of this Dollar Tree stuff shown to you. Let's be honest. I want to put it away, but do you think any of the other stuff is put away? Not completely. Not mostly. It's a work in progress. It's a big work in progress. <sighs> I'm, re I, I'm really trying to get my craft room stuff, like my table and my storage and everything. But the universe is against the us. The universe is against us. <laughs> I can't seem to find the units that I need and the ones that I'm willing to go buy are not the same price that they were two weeks ago. They're like a third more like forty dollars more than they were when i bought one two weeks ago like come on and ikea, can't keep it in ikea everything that i want from there they never have in stock so then when i finally decide i'm gonna just bite the bullet and do something completely different you have to find exactly the right size and i can't find it and i'm bah so i'm just gonna i think i'm just gonna box all my crafting stuff up and I'll put it nice neat in the corner and I'm gonna just force my like if I can't get the things that I'm trying to get right now I'm gonna force myself to just go buy something and I don't care what I spend at that point because I'm just over it let's be honest I probably won't do that but I'm willing to at this point like at this point I'm willing to just do whatever I gotta do because I want it done I've told you okay you gotta do rant over how are you guys doing <laughs> it is friday mid morning it's not noon yet right it's just now noon. oh it's noon on friday i'm having a cup of coffee um this is the cute little mug that tracy got me it has our names on it it says to my wife love it so that was a fun little surprise that I got from Tracy. All right, that's not what you're here for. You're not here for me to rant. You're not here for me to show you my coffee. You're here to see my Dollar Tree stuff, right? So shut up, Melinda, and get to it. I went out earlier this week. Yes, because my aunt, she lives at the coast. They don't have a Dollar Tree there. And she has had the hardest time finding disinfectant wipes and she's been watching our videos and she's like I need to go to your stores because you seem to have all the wipes she's like I'll go for you and cleaning products and cleaning yeah, products cleaning yeah products. but like she she really wants to have some wipes because you know when she's like she knows she can use bleach and stuff for the counters but something about having a disinfectant wipe is just more comforting we all get that plus it's easier well just my luck I did not find any wipes for her however you guys know that we have been getting them as we come across them so that we can share so i've got some that i can give her but i also picked up some cleaning stuff to give her got her a thing of bleach she said she couldn't find bleach and when she finally did she paid like five bucks a gallon i'm like are you kidding me dollar tree i can get a gallon for a buck is this a gallon 2.84 liters so maybe it's a little less than a gallon 96 ounces of bleach for a dollar so I got her one of those. I, they had the Spick and Span antibacterial spray cleaner. Um, kills bacteria and viruses, fresh citrus scent. Cuts through grease and grime. 22 fluid ounces. So I grabbed her one of those. I grabbed her a concentrate of pine sol makes five gallons multi-surface cleaner and she can share this with her siblings um, because they all live at the coast and so if she doesn't need all this or she can hold on to it because she's probably gonna have a hard time finding things like I like we all are I got her two cans of this home bright disinfectant spray kills 99.9% .9 of germs sanitizing in 10 minutes linen scent kills flu virus eliminates odor this is six ounces, so I got her a couple of those. 
and then I got her a can of the Chase's Home Value Disinfectant, Disinfectant Spray, not Frectant, Fectant Spray, in Country Rain Scent. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs, sanitizing in 20 seconds. So this one only takes 10 seconds. This one takes 20. But this one's also, oh, this is also six ounces. These are the same, there's the same amount of stuff in here. How bizarre. Kills cold and flu viruses. Um, I wonder if it says anything about the Rona. There's a, pro, I think it's Lysol that says something about the Rona. Um... Rhinovirus type 39 kills pandemic 2000, the H1N1, influenza A. I don't know, but it's disinfectant spray. And then I got her a big squirt bottle. I don't know how many ounces is in this. Oh, I bet if I look right here, um, I don't know. There's numbers on it, but I don't know what they mean. It's a big spray bottle, so if she wants to make um, this, or if she wants to do a bleach solution, whatever. That's the cleaning haul for my aunt. Now the funner stuff. Um, I got a few books. This one, I don't know where this sticker is from. Maybe like Barnes & Noble or something? That 25% off sticker? This is Humble and Kind by Tim McGraw. It's a small book with a big message. Humble and kind is an inspiring reflection on the values we hold dear, how we instill them in our loved ones, and the way we can share them with the world. Um, so obviously from his book, Humble and Kind. So, and it just has, I'll do a little flip through. So there's just little, little sayings and pictures. Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie. That's from the song. I know you got mountains to climb, but always stay humble. So maybe it's just the lyrics. It's the lyrics, maybe. I haven't read through it. When you get where you're going, don't forget, turn back around, then help the next one in line. So just a, you know. It's a message that a lot of people hold, can yeah. use right now. Exactly. Just be kind to one another. Exactly. Be kind to each other. We need more of that. So grab that. I thought this was cool, and I love me a bandana. Um, I should really. You got a couple. I got a couple. I should wear more. <laughs> um, I love wearing bandanas. My mom wore bandanas when I was growing up, um, and I had one of her bandanas. I don't know if I still have that one or not. I don't. I wouldn't have gotten rid of it. I'll tell you that. It's probably just in a, something in the garage. But um, I love bandanas. And then when my dad passed away, I got his bandanas because dad always used them as a hanky handkerchief. Always kept it in his pocket to blow his nose. Um, but I saw this book, Take a Bandana, 16 Beautiful Projects for Your Home. And I was like, well, that's cool. You've got so, enough of them. You might as well do something. I've got enough of them. <laughs> you can make a flag out of them. So... I just thought that was kind of neat, really neat actually. Um, and oh, and there's even patterns in the back. So, and if there's one that I really like, you know, like of my dad's that I am not gonna wear, but I want to keep it, you know, like I could just keep it in the contain the bin that I have them all in. I have this little pocket thing that I got off of Wish that I rolled up all my bandanas and put in. It's hanging on the wall. I'll, if I can remember, I'll take a picture of it. So I got that right there and I've got all my bandanas rolled up inside of there. So, um, but yeah, so I could do something with that or the ones that I'm not gonna really wear on my head that often, I could make something with them. This one, Dress Your Tech. 35 projects to customize your phone, laptop, tablet, camera, and more. So it's just, um, crafting ideas for your electronic devices, I guess. Protect your tech. So it was different. I don't know. It was 
it caught my eye, sparked my interest. What is that? Oh my goodness. That's cute. So if you're a photographer or you know, um, it's something to put around the camera lens to try and get babies to look at it. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. So if you crochet and you know someone that's a photographer, you could make them little animals to put on their camera lens. That's really cute. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Hi. Okay. I don't know what I just said. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Nothing. You're perfect. Just the way Aw, thanks, babe. Say it with paper. Fun paper craft projects to cut, fold, and create. So there's the cover, and it's got a paper ice cream cone. And then it's just different paper crafting. Let's find a picture instead of instructions. <clears throat> oh my gosh. You want to make a paper Ferris wheel? Good grief. How intricate is that? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's face it. People have lots of time for that. But you and I don't have the patience for that. Um, Go Go Geometric. There's a pig and a bunch of other things. What are you looking at over there? Do we have a bunch of birds? Yeah, the birds are flying We, on we have a bunch of birds on our patio. Oh, there's a hummingbird. Oh. I need to refill the hummingbird feeder. Yeah, the little finches were sitting <clears> on top <throat> of the bird feeders. We have finches and bird, uh, chickadees. finches and birds. <laughs> Blackout, chickadees, chickadees scrub finches, jays. scrub jays, hummingbirds. So anyways, there's that. Retail price on this paper craft is $14.99 US. Bandana book, no, this is not a bandana book. This is the Dress Your Tech. This was $19.95. The bandana book was $19.95. And the Tim McGraw book is covered up. So, guys, this is going to be a long haul because I want to show you everything. So, bear with her. Bear with me. Um, if you need to pause and go to the bathroom, get yourself something. If you drink lots of wine. <laughs> I don't know what time you're watching. Maybe you need wine. Maybe you need some um, spirits in your coffee. All right. I found these. We've seen people haul these and. Um, they're calendars and when I, I was like how is that a calendar and I someone finally opened it I'm gonna open it for you in case you haven't seen it open so it's just a little plastic stand and they're just cards and they're that's a, so there's oh it has the it month is five, numbered right? not so it doesn't you just have to know that January is one. And then it's a little calendar. It's just the one month calendar. And then each side, so it's January and December on there. So it's just cute. Little um, decoration. Little decoration. It'll be a good little stocking, stocking stuffer or something to give. You know, we have a lot of, I've told you guys, we have a lot of nieces and nephews. And we like to do little gift bags. We love to do stockings. And um, we kind of do like stocking bags for the kids, for the nieces and nephews. So like this would be something good to put in those. All right. Um, got these little mashems, twist and squish them. These guys, let's see. Da, 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 da. So we got those. The box that I grabbed these out of said PJ Mask. So I just grabbed two. Then I got them home and showed them to Tracy, and she's like, oh, cool, they're SpongeBob. I was like, what? I didn't even notice. So um, I got a talking to, because I didn't open the blind bags in the last video. Even though Tracy was right here while I recorded. You act like she I didn't. read you a riot act. <laughs> she did. I tell you what. 
No, she didn't. I just... <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. <laughs> so, here's... The, it's just a ball. Pop it. Comes open. And there's the little instructions, warnings. And we get Patrick. And he's just sticky, squishy. Really? Yeah. I'm not going to throw him like no, this because he'll drop and get cat hair. So that's all. That's all it is. Um, I'll show you the back of the other one. It's got, um, you can get a surprise glow in the dark one. SpongeBob Patrick, Mr. Krabs, the, the bus driver, I think she is. And then Sally. The squirrel? Yeah. yeah Sally. So there's that. I found just one random crush pet, Jiggly Pal, Jiggly Puffs. Um, you can see these, so I'm not going to open it, but just a squishy little thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I grabbed that. It was just randomly sitting in like the school supplies. Um, so I'm going to open the, one of the Toy Story bags that I showed you in the last video. Is there a tear spot? No, no, there is not. All right. And again, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and a special one. So I got, I don't remember his name, but I got Woody's horse. So it's just a cute little figurine. Is he, is he po his head turns. So that's kind of cool. Does it not say the name on the back? It does not say the names on the back. It just shows their pictures. Bullseye. Name Bullseye. 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 I knew I'd come so yeah, that's what that is. All right. <clears throat> Are they hard? Like the yes. Figures? Yeah. Not They're a little hard figures. Um, I found some more of the Crystalline Housewares by Tektron Stylish Multi-Use Cases. This was the deeper rectangle ones. Well, no, the last ones I got were like the pencil ones. It was a three pack. This is a two pack. Um, and I grabbed these to go in the use as storage. Tracy worked on our pantry dining room last weekend and I had to make a run to get some storage bins. They're already in use, so I'm not gonna show you those, but um, I grabbed these when I grabbed those because I thought if we don't use them in the pantry, I can use them in the craft room. Um, and then I grabbed this size. You got like it's a locker. A, it's a two pack, buckets. two pack. Yeah, I got some locker buckets and then some um, Dollar Tree baskets. You all know what those look like, right? They're like this long and they got a bunch of holes in them. All right, moving along. I'll try and go faster, guys. Got a few food items. Grabbed a can of the Bell's olives. These are really good olives. And they're pretty comparable in price when you go to the grocery store. They're if they're on sale, they're a dollar usually. Um, so good, these are fine. I did find I was slicing them one day and I did find one that was not pitted. Um, but I think you can happen to happen upon that in the Lindsay's and all the other brands too. So I got another package. Is this the same one? It's a different packaging. The other one was like Mrs. Freshly. Yeah. So Tracy wanted some more of the crumb cakes, the cinnamon crumb cakes. And I found this, but I think this is different. It's a different brand. Yeah, it's a different brand. But again, they're just tiny little um, just crumb cakes. There are five in there. And they're the brand that makes the um, brownies and the strawberry cakes too. And then Tracy tried this and she really liked that. It's, it's a thick, rich chocolate milk. So that's a good one. How's the crumb cake? Well, I did in there. Oh, I thought you just took a bite. Um, I found the galvanized words for Halloween. So it says haunted, spooky, and beware. So I grabbed a couple of those. Very similar to the other one, but they're pretty much the same. Tracy said the crumb cakes are pretty much exactly the same as the other ones. So, we're good. All right. I could not remember if we had vase filler for fall. I think we do. 
I think we have like leaves. I want to see we have leaves, but, I, don't think we have but I got some of the the <clears throat> little balls. Um, this is the like olive green and brown, and then this is the more of a like a lime green and orange. So we've also got a hurricane. Right yeah, we could put these in the hurricane too. So grabbed a couple of those. Oh, here's another book that I got. Mother and Baby, Baby Milestones, Expertise and Advice Throughout Baby's First Year. Retail price was $14.99. And it just... Could be good to have that as a reference. Just a good little reference. I've given Shaylin a couple of books you guys have seen. And even if she doesn't read them, I can just be on the bookshelf and... Oh, I've got a lot. I've, I've only got a couple things, so it's not going to be as long as I thought it was. I thought this bag was full, but it's just got a few things in it and multiples. I grabbed this little squishy ball in the toy section. It's a globe. And I got this because when I saw it, I thought of Tracy. Um, when Tracy was little, her dad was a merchant marine. And um, he would, they had a blow up globe and we have it in the garage, I think somewhere. Um, they would blow up the, have the globe blown up and then he would point to all the different places that he has been when he was in the Merchant Marines. So, and that's a really fond memory for Tracy. And so when I saw this, it just reminded me of that. So I grabbed it for her. He made it all the way around the world and then he got sick and had he almost made it around the world and then he got sick. Um, was that all before you were born? Yeah, so that was all over 40 years ago. But yeah, so got that. Um, <clears throat> Tracy really likes the Powerade Zero Sugar Purple. And I hadn't found the purple recently, so I grabbed her four of those. I... Got myself the stitched stickers that I forgot. Well, that I didn't forget. Remember the last stitch stickers with the witch's hats and the feet? I was mad at myself because I grabbed two of the same one. Well, this is the one that I meant to get with those. Just really cute. Pumpkins, ghosts, and bats. And that's a 16 piece. So, and it's not real stitching. It's just, you know, iron, you know, it's just ink or whatever. And then... The last things I have are wish list items. Um, we found <clears throat> the Transformers sidewalk chalk. So they had the shaped ones. You get five in there. You get Megatron, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Starscream, and Windblade. We never found the My Little Pony. So we never out. found My Little Pony. <clears throat> um, but we did get the, the uh, Transformers. And they also had the Jumbo chalk set with the holders. So, um, yeah. So I grabbed two of each of those. That is everything, I think. Hey, guys. I forgot to show you something. All right. I found Barbie stuff. Um, they are actually by Mattel. They are made in China. There's a lot of different languages on the back of this, but it says nothing about Greenbrier in it. So there's the back. See lots of languages, but it's Mattel. And so this is a dog for Barbie. This is a cat for Barbie. They also had a rabbit. I don't know why I didn't buy the rabbit, but I didn't. Um, so puppy and kitten, not dog and cat. Puppy and kitten. It says that on the side. Right there. And then I got the accessory packs. So this, and these have stands to put all of the stuff on. So this is the, ex the headband pack. It's got a tiara, headbands, and sunglasses. That's cute. This one is the shoe pack, four pairs of shoes. Looks like some boot, black boots, some wet, blue, I don't know, chunky heel. 
I don't know. So there's some shoes. And then this one is the handbags. So you get four handbags. Those were cute. Um, that re It reminds me of when I, I still have my Barbie stuff in the garage. Um, I had a Barbie kitchen, all the, the fridge and the food and the pots and pans and stuff. And then I also had a gym and a shoe store. So this, these just remind me of my Barbie shoe store because it had the shelving and the places to put all the shoes and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got all that in the garage somewhere. So when we end up having a granddaughter someday, not in a rush, but someday, um, well, if Wesley wants to play with Barbies, Wesley can play with Barbies. That's right. He can have my Barbies if he wants them. Yeah, Ethan had a baby when he was little. So, yeah, forget it. Wesley can play with my Barbies if he wants to. I, he can even play with my tea set because I still have that too. <laughs> okay, oh. yep, yeah, that's it. I got I got it all out. Showed you everything. So. I put it all away. Oh, I, I oughta. <laughs> Love you unconditionally. That's what I ought to do. All right, guys, so thank you so much for hanging out with us. As always, we love it when you do. We love hearing from you guys in the comment section, so please feel free to leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. That helps us out a lot. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, you can click the subscribe button and subscribe. When you do that, there's a bell that you can click, and that will allow you to get notifications when we upload a new video. Um, I think we're going to be putting together the blessing bags within the, we have some things coming up, but we're going to try and do it in the, within the next week. I don't know. Tracy's been working a lot. So by the time she's done working, it's time for dinner and then she's just beat and then we just, it's done. Day's done. And working from home, her coworker put it better. Cause it's like you're working from home and he said no you're actually living at work which is so true like you're living at work if you're working from home you wake up you start working you eat you go to bed and you're working and you're relaxing and you're hanging out all in the same place if you it's don't have the draining. it is it's draining i have a workstation set up because i went and got my monitors and everything from work I have like a scanner and a bunch of stuff that I needed to set up. So, um, and you guys can probably tell Tracy is so giving and so accommodating for me, anything she can do for me. So I have a work set up over there and Tracy's working, works from a laptop. So she just will sit on the couch or sit on the chair from a TV tray. And that's how she's been working for the last five months. And I've offered to set up a workstation. She's finally decided that we'll try setting up a workstation. So we're going to revamp the dining room this weekend and set up a workstation for her. So hopefully that'll help a little bit, at least to break it up, break up the monotony of sitting and relaxing and working all in the same space. So anyways, I even offered to forget the, the scrap, the craft room and I'll set up office not. in there and she said absolutely not so um i could just tell her forget it but i can't go buy the furniture that i need from a craft room so it's not an option anyways all right guys that's enough um again thank you we appreciate you we love you guys thanks for putting up with us thanks for putting up with us we will see you soon in the next video bye bye